Hello everyone, and welcome back to Minecraft. Last time we went and tried to tackle that dungeon. I didn't get very far. I made a higher investment on in my armor that's slightly damaged than I did in getting anything back. It's a thing. Uh, eventually I'll clear that dungeon there. It's going to be a long, long process. I know it will be. Um, but I finally wanted to try to give it a chance, and I just think I need a better weapon, which means I think I need to get Tinker's weapons. So that's the thing I'll have to work with. Um, so anyway, that's one thing, and today we're going to work a little bit on, um, just fiddling around with Psy and stuff. Uh, I said I was going to read a tutorial, but I was like, hey, let's read it together. Um, so let's scroll over here and hit the C button and read this thing. Uh, it's like, let's talk about the numbers, blah, 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 blah. I'm going to pause and read it myself, and then I'll explain what I've read. So let me do that, and I'll be right back. Okay, what I understand from this, uh, jumble of text is that some things require numbers, and that's what the number thing is for. And these things allow you to connect things together. So if I go back into here, I can actually say, hey, by the way, uh, this will also need to have a constant number of zero uh, associated with it, which is great. Uh, I can also say, by the way, I want this to connect with, I don't know, that and have it like branching off and connect with things different things in other words you can make different lines like connect far away and in other words you can have something over here and have it like its own little thing and connect to something over here but or have something down here that needs to connect to something up here and route it around like if you make a long chain that goes down this way and like oh my gosh i'm out of room you can start back over here and go down here and connect it up that's what i'm, that's what I'm getting from it anyway that, that's what i'm getting um i guess you can delete it just delete them. Um, oh, I need to undo the zero. Uh, so number zero. Great. Awesome. So I'm going to try this and reset this. I don't know if it worked. I think that was already set, so I don't think you can clear it or anything. Can I rename it to something else? Debug number. Uh, I can't rename this thing a little bit. Number. Okay, so it is set. So I have made this. And so if I click into my CAD, I can actually set this new one, uselessly, uh, to do that. And I can select debug number and use it. And you can see the next level. So the thing, isn't it? Not that difficult. Uh, tutorial 3. Uh, this is boring stuff. Not really. It's just complicated. It's just tedious. Um, um, I'm going to pause and read this, and then I'll be right back. So give me a moment. Okay. This is when it actually starts doing stuff besides having a whole bunch of debug bullcrap. Uh, that's what the other things are just testing and showing you basically how to do this stupid uh, machine. Um, this thing right here tells me that now it wants me to go into this thing and it wants me to set a new thing. It's going to be that trick add motion and we're going to have when I select speed add motion target uh, we're going to set it to caster we're going to delete this one. And um, we're going to add a number of three here. Uh, something's missing here. Direction. Target that speed to three. Direction. I need something else here as well. Uh, entity look. So it's still not active. Uh, sh caster. So it needs to be the direction that the entity is looking. The target would also be the caster. Okay. I don't have enough side points for that. 
Uh, if I take rid of this, it doesn't do anything. Okay. So I can actually, if I wanted to, just say, okay, let's put the caster button here. Get rid of that. And we can do the connector bit here. Uh, here, I mean. And also here. Can we not connect them together like that? Um, I guess not. See, I, I don't quite understand the connectors quite so well yet. That's my thing. So that says the target is the caster, add motion, direction, and we're going to call this move. move. I don't have the points for it. It's saying 900. But I don't have the points. Thirty-one. Let's just do one, two, three. We'll do two because I can I can do the side points. So that's the thing. So we can take this and I can make another bullet. Let's go get some iron and make another bullet or two. Sounds weird to say that. But this is really interesting. It's just being very, very tedious. And apparently it's going to go into the math and programming nature of things. Not really complicated programming nature, but it is like a programming nature, programming nature into it. So that is a thing I'm having to deal with. Um, is having to deal with some strangeness that I'm not quite used to. Not that. This table. Um, there's a bullet here, spell bullet, and we'll go upstairs and we'll set this one. And we'll put this in the gun and see it in action. This should move me two blocks ahead, is what it should do. It should actually move me in the direction I'm facing a couple blocks. Um, we're going to put this in here, and we're going to put this in here. We're going to take these things right here. It's empty out. I don't know why I just didn't copy over them, because they're useless anyway. Um, we're going to put this here and take this out. Um, we should have move. So this should move me a couple of steps. Yay! That was interesting. That was actually really cool. Uh, I guess when you level up, you have plenty of points. So now I'm at 800. Now when you have plenty of points on the side, you can actually make more complex ones, I'm guessing. And you can actually make yourself like 100 blocks really, really fast. I don't know how high your spell points could go up, but that's the thing. Um, cool. So, next thing is tutorial 4. Um, it's also giving me explode, into position, vector recast, and suppressings. Goes boom. Gets into the position. Okay, now I'm going to pause and I'm going to read this one. And I'll be right back. Okay, the basic gist of this is basically saying that, hey, by the way, you can make things explode with this new trick they're giving you. Yay, that sounds um, very interesting. I don't quite get the entity thing. Operator gets a localized raycast. So let's just go into this doohickey upstairs after I sleep. Um, is it ready yet? Okay, it is ready. I wasn't sure if it was actually ready yet. Uh, let's go into this doohickey. Uh, we'll clear all this. Can I clear all this fast? No? Okay. So let's actually start a new one. We're going to start... Explode. So at power, I guess we use numbers, and we're going to set it at 2. Okay. Um, position, we're going to have it set to Entity Look Caster. Okay. Power of Spell, 141. Not 21. Just one. We'll just do that. Okay, so we're going to go boom. Tiny boom. 
we're gonna call it Tiny Boom, and we're gonna take one of our old debugs and set Tiny Boom. And we're gonna see how good Tiny Boom is. Well, this is something we cannot use in my house. Uh, we're gonna go down into the mines, and we're gonna use Tiny Boom and see how good Tiny Boom is. That's a thing. Um, I do know you hold this down. You can select Tiny Boom. Oh, I do love that you can change it while you're moving. Because that is pretty good. Uh, spell target outside maximum 32 block. Um, error position 4-4. So that's not the right way to do that one. So I'll have to redo it because it's not correct. Um, so let's go see if I can fix Tiny Boom. Oh, I don't know how to fix Tiny Boom. Because they gave me those other things. It's probably something with those I had to use instead of what I used in my other thing. Um, so that is a thing. So let me get this other one out. Get this broken Tiny Boom. Uh, one, and we're going to have, instead of caster, we're going to have, oh no, it has to be caster. Uh, it's not emperor to really look. It's operator cast. Maximum ray position caster maximum number we're gonna have a maximum of five and we'll have maximum yeah we'll just have maximum of five and we'll have ray b one Ray is a vector. Position. Ray is a vector. Is it boom? No, that's not a vector. Um, it is player location, I'm guessing. Not caster. Um, ent operator entity position. Array. Target. No? Okay. Well, that's not a vector then. So what's a vector? Uh, vector. Target entity. Operator entity look. That's a vector. Hmm, hang on one second. Okay, take like three on this. <laughs> Not really. Um, but I do, I left it in the thing. That's a good job. I did rewrite the program a little bit. It looks like this now. You can see it on the thing. And I now have this again with Tiny Boom on it. We'll see if Tiny Boom works now. So off to the line to see if Tiny Boom works. Not sure. I have not tested it. Uh, if it doesn't, I'll I'll read a little bit more about it before I try to dev more into it. Um, I just don't want to do it inside my house. It's doing nothing. It's just hurting me. I guess I don't have a range. I guess I didn't quite finish the spell correctly. Let me go look at it one more time. I think I may have forgotten one crucial fact of it. Which is kind of like a range or something. I don't know. I'm so confused on this one. This one kind of confuses me a little bit. Just a little bit. Uh, off ratios, direction, integer look, caster. 
the direction that the caster looks up to five blocks explodes one block. I don't know. I don't know. I'll just have to research a little bit more about it. At least I got some of the things done. At least I got that move spell done. At least I, I'm, at least I can do this now. Did you know that's so epic? I guess if I... I guess if you jump off something... Uh, nah, it doesn't really save you from fall damage. Oh, there's actually a witch there. And a spider. I'm gonna go over here. Anyway, I'm gonna leave it here. Uh, I'm gonna try to figure out Psy a little bit. I'm gonna try to make this thing work. And maybe next time I'll have this spell working. Uh, Psy may not be something I have to record because it's a little bit tedious and I don't quite understand it fully. Um, yeah, it's one of those mods that takes a little bit of time and effort to put into it. And yeah, time and effort to understand stuff. Bombcraft is easier than that. But yeah, I'm going to leave it here, and next time I will try to get that right there working. Uh, I'm going to look up some examples online and see about it, just to see how it works. I'm going to kind of watch something about it and see if I can figure out how to do it the most efficiently. But yeah, that'll be for next time. Until now, I'll leave it here, and I hope you've enjoyed uh, me bumbling around with Sai. Um, next time I won't do Sai, but I'll may have a little bit. I'll may have it figured out by then. But yeah, I'll leave it here, and next time we'll do something more interesting than that. I may start thumbcraft. I may wander around. Huh, there's no telling. We'll see. But that'll be for then, and that's all for now. I'll see you next time. Bye.